we're pretending to be good because we're obsessed with making things look good, but shit ain't good. I actually don't know if I'm cursing or not, but I'm cursing. So there we go. <laughs> Can we? Okay. Right. Cool. I'll try Just not to. I'll, I'll try it. Like, I'm not trying to fuck your project I want to be professional and I don't want to, you know. Yeah. Literally, bro, that's a King's English. That's a session one question for me. Like, do you mind cursing or not? Because <laughs> I have a body mouth. Okay. <laughs> so. And, and it, it is interesting you say that, dude, because, like, one of, one of the things I realized, like, through my 30s, like, again, I love everybody, right? Like I'm like a people person, but I, I, I've got. Before we jump into this conversation, I think it's good that we introduce ourselves. Uh, so, Ken, you want to start? Yeah. Uh, I'm Ken Stratton, licensed clinical counselor, a certified rehabilitation counselor, certified trauma professional, too, uh, and healing strategist with the seventh element. No. Greetings, brothers. My name is Dr. Dewan Smith. Uh, South Sider by trade. I think that's an important piece because it informs. <laughs> a lot of what you'll see in this particular session today. Uh, and I'm also a healing strategist and co-founder of The Seventh Element, among other things. Glad to be here. How you all doing this evening? My name is Michael Johns. I'm the co-founder and also a healing strategist for The Seventh Element. I'm Southsider as well, uh, and actually a baker, you know? So I like <laughs> to throw that out there as well, too. Man. Do a good job cooking, with that. Cooking them cakes. Hey, man, you know, you gotta, you gotta do your, your side passions as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, since we're talking about that, I mean, I'm also a photographer yes. and a Hennessy connoisseur, which <laughs> I think is really important. Hashtag 1765. I, I'm also a Hennessy connoisseur, a social creative brand. I make clothing. We all good. Kid is just Kid. <laughs> Psychotherapist. You know what I'm <laughs> Kenneth at perksoftherapy.com. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Email me. Um, so we're here to talk about black men, mental health, why it's important, why it should be important. And coming out of this pandemic, it should be more of an importance. And mental health has become greater and greater talked about, especially in rap lyrics, everything like that. What does it mean for black men to take care of their mental health? I think it's it's important for for self, right? For self worth, mm -hmm. self value, um, to humanize yourself, to know that you are human, right? Because mm -hmm. I think there's a, a lot of negative rhetoric out there about the black man and like what the things we're not doing and all this other stuff, right? And I think that feeds into the fact that us have to fit into this quote unquote, you know, hyper masculine super provider type of situation. And so it doesn't allow for you to be in a state of being vulnerable. And so like taking care of your mental health allows for you to realize you're human mm -hmm. and to take a step back and say, hey, what, what am I missing inside? Like what are, what are some things that I have area opportunities for to be, to be better at, but also recognize the things that I'm great in mm -hmm. and, and, and appreciate all aspects of who you are and not be threatened by the fact of I don't have something or be threatened by the fact that someone else has something like being okay within your walk and and just being real in that I think it means asking different questions you know oftentimes I feel like we are typically just kind of going through the motions um, making the best out of what we have sometimes not even allowing ourselves permission to believe that there is more to us more to our existence, our experience, than what's directly in front of us. And in a lot of ways, no matter how you choose to look at it, you know, the pandemic really was an opportunity mm -hmm. to create the one thing that doesn't always happen um, for us is stillness. Mm. Um, stillness, an opportunity Real. to be able to truly sit with yourself. And I say that from personal experience. Mm -hmm. I think I was a person that, you know, I described it in my dissertation as I was a public success in a private mess. Mm. 